all right welcome to my youtube channel so in the series of uh, special problems under functions we're going to see this first problem here which uh, says that a function f is defined this way now this type of function is called a piecewise function that's a function that is defined to have many sub functions you can see here three sub functions which each of them will depend on different intervals that are also inside the domain of the function so the domain of this function is r and uh, the intervals are defined on r okay so and we are asked now to evaluate depending on the different numbers we are given so solution so first of all the first thing you need to do is that you will need to find the f of x that will help you to evaluate a particular uh, problem now for instance now we are asked to evaluate f of minus 3 which of these three functions are we going to use to do this evaluation okay so we're going to check out that depending on the intervals so which interval here contains minus 3 x less than minus 4 of course cannot contain minus 3 uh, minus 3 is less than or equal to x so minus 3 is contained on this interval or in this interval so that means for x equal to minus 3 the function to be used is this one okay so our f of x there will be x squared minus 3 and that means that our f of minus 3 will now be minus 3 squared minus 3 and that is going to give us what 6 as the solution it's a very simple problem just understand how to find your function from the intervals uh, let's look at the second example okay so the second example here says f of minus 1 and what is minus 1 where is minus 1 found on this interval it's also in this place look at it minus 3 down to positive 3 minus 1 is in between because you have minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 and so on all right so that means we are also going to use f of x equal to x squared minus 3 and so our f of minus 1 will be minus 1 all squared minus 3 and minus 1 squared is 1 minus 3 will give us minus 2 and so for example 3 we are asked to find f of 3 and so let's look at the interval which one contains 3 still the same interval okay because x here is less than or equal to 3 and so our f of x here is still x squared minus 3 so that means that uh, our f of 3 is going to be 3 squared minus 3 and that is going to give us 9 minus 3 which is what 6 and finally for the last example here we are asked to find f of 5 okay so amongst these intervals here they, this is where f of 5 is contained because x here is greater than 5 so any x greater than 5 is found here and 5 is sorry greater than 3 and uh, our 5 here is greater than 3 so that means the f of x we will use here will be the first sub function here which is 4x minus 7 and so our f of 5 then will be substituting x as 5 we'll have 4 times 5 minus 7 and that will give us what 13 as our solution okay and that is all that we want to do in this example please subscribe to our youtube channel comment like share our youtube video and channel to your friends and people that will need it thank you and see you in our next video bye